Gwinnett County Airport. Gwinnett Tower information Delta, time 2045 Zulu, wind 2205. Albany Tower information Alpha, 1453 Zulu, wind 020 at... We hear it on ATIS reports, and we have to enter it in flight plan forms. And if we're flying on an instrument flight plan, we need to understand it for ATC communications. We're talking Zulu time here, and it's the source of endless confusion for pilots. Zulu time is the aviation and military name for Greenwich Mean Time. Essentially, it's the current time in Greenwich, England, which is a section of London. The reason we use it is because we pilots crisscross time zones regularly. It just makes no sense for us to try to keep up with the various local times. Other people we talk to don't even know what time zone we're in, so we use Zulu time as a universal frame of reference. Here's how it works. The Earth rotates under the Sun giving us, in the United States at least, equal portions of daylight and night. Night is simply when the Sun is shining on the opposite side of the globe. As the line between daylight and darkness marches across the Earth, time measurement travels with it. When it's 12 noon at Greenwich, England, it's 7 a.m. in New York and only 4 a.m. in Los Angeles. Now these times shift with seasonal clock adjustments, but it's still the same concept. When it's 3 p.m. in Atlanta, it's only 2 p.m. in Houston. Since pilots must communicate operations based on time, we have to avoid confusion. The solution is to use Zulu time. As we said, it's the same thing as GMT or Greenwich Mean Time. Zulu time is also called UTC for Universal Time Coordinated. You'll see this shown in weather charts. When pilots use Zulu time, it's as if we all have reset our clocks to the current time in London. This means that every pilot, regardless of the time zone, is using the same time reference. If you're in Boston and the time is 10.30 Zulu and you call your buddy in California and ask him what time it is, guess what? He'll tell you that it's also 10.30 Zulu out there. In fact, when it's 10.30 Zulu in Boston, it's 10.30 Zulu at every other point on Earth. If you hear ATC mention 10.30 Zulu to someone else on the radio, it doesn't matter what time zone that pilot's in. It's 10.30 Zulu everywhere. No more time zone confusion. Okay, now that we've seen what Zulu time is, let's see how to calculate it. It's a two-step process. First you convert your local time to 24-hour time. Then you add an offset based on your time zone. Here's an example. You're in Chicago and it's 4.30 in the afternoon. What Zulu time is that? First add 12 to 4.30 and you get 16.30 as your 24-hour time. Next, use the chart in this FAA diagram to find the offset. In the central time zone, you add 6 for standard time, and you add 5 for daylight savings time. Let's say it's October, so you'll add 5 hours. That makes your Zulu time 21.30. Here's another one. You're in Chicago and want to file a flight plan for a trip to Pittsburgh. You'll need to specify your departure and arrival times in Zulu time. Chicago is in the central time zone and Pittsburgh is in the eastern time zone, so without Zulu time, it could be a real mess deciding how to describe your times. You've decided to depart at 10 a.m. local time on the three-hour flight. The month is December, so you'll be using standard time. Now pause the video and work the problem. When you have it figured out, press play to see the answer. In 24-hour time, your departure time remains at 10 hundred hours. We only add 12 if the time is after 12 o'clock noon. Since it's standard time, the offset will be plus 6. So, 10 hours plus 6 means your departure will be at 1600 Zulu. A 3-hour trip indicates that you would arrive at Pittsburgh at 1 p.m. Central Time or 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Same time, just different time zones. You could just add 3 hours to your 1600Z departure time and get the arrival time of 1900Z. But for practice, here's how we work it. Using central time, 1 p.m. is 1300 hours. Since you're still using central time, the offset remains at plus 6. 1300 plus 6 equals 1900 Zulu. So that's it. Zulu time made easy. We've seen why it exists and how to calculate it. And it is something you'll use in the real world. This particular diagram is used in the private pilot knowledge test, so if you're getting ready for that, make sure that you understand it. For Gold Seal, I'm Russ Still.